So what is artificial intelligence? You might think about the difference between fruit, real fruit that you can eat, and artificial fruit. Not the same thing. Well, artificial intelligence is the attempt to use computer hardware and software to develop synthetic intelligence, uh, to develop the ability to solve problems which it requires human beings' intelligence uh, to solve. And initially, the first work that was done in artificial intelligence was solving problems in logic and mathematics. But it was quickly realized uh, that many of the things that human beings do requires contextual knowledge. And so the paradigm shifted to what's called knowledge representation. And you had to represent knowledge of the world around you. So how would you negotiate even such a thing as a simple trip to the restaurant? You'd have to know uh, how restaurants work and uh, what the bill was and when you were supposed to pay and all sorts of things like that. Um, and eventually it was realized that the best way to model human intelligence was to develop what are now called expert systems. And expert systems are developed by interviewing real human experts, whether in medicine or law or geology or, or any area, finding out the relevant knowledge that can be represented in a database and also the rules that are used uh, to uh, process that knowledge. So today, for example, when a doctor gives a diagnosis, that diagnosis can be checked by an expert system that has the same knowledge in its database and can use rules to see if in fact this is the correct diagnosis uh, for the problem. Now that's conventional artificial intelligence. Conventional artificial intelligence is domain specific. That is, it solves one particular problem in a particular area. So you might think, for example, of Deep Blue, which is an artificially intelligent chess playing program that successfully uh, defeated the Grandmaster Garry Kasparov. But chess is all it does. And so, more recently, the quest has been for what is called artificial general intelligence. What's interesting about human beings is that they can learn new things. They can learn new techniques, uh, new dance moves, new languages. They can master things that they didn't know about before. And so the attempt is to come up with general strategies that will capture this flexibility uh, of, of human beings. And so there are some individuals, most notably uh, Ray Kurzweil and Ben Goetzel, who claim that sometime this century we will have artificial systems that have the same kind of general intelligence that humans have. And even Nick Bostrom at Oxford University says they may have what he calls super intelligence. They will actually be more intelligent than us and um, perhaps we will want enhancements to our own intelligence to, uh, to keep up.